Welcome to part 1 of Traffic Junkies How to Create a Campaign. In this video, you'll learn how to choose your campaign's basic settings. Begin by clicking on the New Campaign button located at the top left of the page and select Bid. Give a unique name to your campaign. Remember, this is a mandatory field. Sort and organize your campaigns by using groups or labels. Your campaigns on TJ give you access to Traffic Junkies Premium Exchange. Moving forward, you will select which device you'd like to have your ads displayed on. You can choose All, Desktop, or pick Mobile to target our mobile and tablet sources. Then, pick between Display or In-Stream Ad Formats as you need. This will affect these three options below. So set your format type and dimensions matching the ones on your approved creatives. Select between straight, gay, or trans to add formats based on approved creatives that you have in your media library. Finally, demographic targeting allows you to choose a gender to focus your ads on. Once you've selected the appropriate settings, you can click on the Save and Continue button to move to the second step of the campaign creation process. Now you're at step two, where you'll learn how to pick your settings to target audiences. Begin by selecting your geo. You can also add up to 10 regions or cities that you wish to target. Don't forget to click on the add button, otherwise you will not be able to move on to the next step. Choose from various targeting features. Toggle these on or off based on your needs. Whether you're using zip codes to target specific postal codes in the US, Canada, and Japan, or you wish to reach your target audience based on income and neighborhoods in the US, or simply target users based on their internet service provider, their IP range, mobile connection, or upper rating system, we have it all. You can also choose which browsers to target. If your creatives are failing Google Better Ad Compliance, remember to uncheck Chrome. Additionally, reach your target audience based on their browser's language. Let's explore the advanced targeting options now. Keyword targeting lets you pick a keyword based on relevance and its volume on the Traffic Junkie network. Choose to serve your ad along with the broad or exact matches for these keywords. Exclude audiences who have already converted for your offer with the audience exclusion pixel targeting. You can re-engage potential audiences who have interacted with your website before with our retargeting feature. Segment targeting comes in use if you're interested in reaching viewers who have interacted with your niche on our publisher sites. Use interest segments to see the volume size of such users and target them exclusively through the campaign. Once you've selected the appropriate settings, you can click on the Save and Continue button to move on to the third step of the campaign creation process. In this step, you'll learn how to track your campaign, choose your sources, and optimize your campaigns for success. If you already have one, you can select a conversion tracker to monitor your campaign's performance. This tool is also important to enable bidder and autopilot features, which we will explore together later in this video. You can also simply click on Create a new tracker to create one. Then, pick your targeted sources automatically or manually. If you choose automatically, all sources will be targeted and bids will be automatically set and updated based on market trends through the Smart CPM. Enter the max bid you are willing to bid on any source. Alternatively, you can choose to manually add specific sources and edit your CPMs. Or you could include slash exclude sources of your choice and let the smart CPM feature automate your bids. Whether you select automatic or manual sources, you can always use the bidder to reach your target CPA goals. Remember, this requires a conversion tracker. Finally, aim for better return on investment with the rules feature. 
This allows you to create logical conditions to optimize your campaign. Once you have selected the appropriate settings, you can click on the Save and Continue button to move to the fourth step of the campaign creation process. In this chapter, you'll learn to set a schedule and budget for your campaign. To set a duration, toggle this feature on to define date range and time for your campaign to run. Keep in mind that our platform is in Eastern Standard Time. Additionally, switch the campaign schedule to click and drag the desired time frame to run your ads. Use frequency capping to limit the number of times a visitor will see your campaign over a designated period. Next, define the daily budget for your campaign. Here, you can add any value, starting from 25, up to your daily spending limit. Once you have selected the appropriate settings, you can click on the Save and Continue button to move to the final step of the campaign creation process. In this final step, you'll learn how to set up your ads. Select the type of ads that you would like to create in your campaign. The Add Name option allows you to either use the creative's name as it was uploaded or choose a new name. Then, enter the target URL. This is where your audience will be directed after they click on the ad. You can also use the tags below to better track your stats. After this, you can select your approved creatives and confirm your selection. You will see a summary populate below with all the information. By default, all ads have equal weightage. You can manually change this as needed. Or if you have a conversion tracker, go with autopilot rotation to show your best performing ads. Once you have selected the appropriate settings, you can click the Finish Campaign button to finalize the campaign creation process. Now you can sit back and let your campaign run. This concludes the campaign creation process. Don't forget to give this video a like and follow the channel. Be sure to press the bell icon for more informative content.